Another huge issue during this time is going to be immigration. We know that immigration uh, really boomed starting around the 1840s, especially from Ireland with the potato famine, and is going to continue to rise in the Gilded Age. So there's going to be many factors that are going to lead to people wanting to move to the United States. So you have push factors that are going to push people out of their current country, such as oppression or poverty or war or religious or ethnic persecution. And then you're going to have pull factors, which are going to pull them into America, which is the idea of freedom. Most importantly, the idea of jobs and economic opportunity. And then others would be cultural ties, maybe family or relatives that have already moved here. Um, so looking at this graph, you'll notice this is from 1840 to 1920. During the 1840s, 1850s, you had a lot of a lot of this group from Great Britain and Ireland are going to come in. A lot of your uh, a lot of Germans are going to be in the earlier part of this graph. But towards the late 1800s and into the early 1900s, you're going to have a lot of Eastern Europe, Italy. Um, coming into America and from Russia as well. And these are going to be the groups that are going to have a harder time um, assimilating. I don't want to say assimilating, but adjusting to moving to America as opposed to those that came from the British Isles or from Germany. So different hardships during this time. Um, you know, you have your different tensions. You have your nativists that are anti-immigrants. Um, you have different issues with finding jobs and with... Uh, poverty, but then you also have uh, groups that come up with solutions such as making ethnic neighborhoods like um, like Little Italy in um, in New York City or something kind of like Chinatown where you have people that are of the same ethnic group that decide to live in the same um, area to kind of support each other. And one of the big things with immigrants is so many of them were optimistic of a better life and despite their hardships, they found ways to persevere. Uh, different responses that are going to happen during this time, the whole idea of nativism, which these are going to be your anti-immigrant group, ones that were supposedly born in the United States, anti-immigrant, um, and they wanted restrictions on immigration. One of the big ones that happens is the Chinese Exclusion Act, and this was a 10-year ban on immigration of Chinese workers, and this was happening because they were afraid of people's job people losing their jobs not being able to get jobs because they're being taken from immigrants such as those from China so there was actually an act that was implemented to reduce immigration um so when you get to the test how this question might be assessed this is from the US history EOC last year uh we have our political cartoon and whenever i have a political cartoon on a test I want to make sure I look at all the pieces, but first I want to read the question. So anytime you have a question with a visual, first thing you need to do is read the question. Make sure you know what they're asking you. They're at, so, which group of people most likely inspired the creation of this 1893 cartoon? So I'm looking for people, a group of people, that inspired this cartoon. So now when I look at the cartoon, I want to first read any words or title and this includes if they give you the source of the of it because that can help as well sometimes so i'm going to read it they would shoot they would close to the newcomer the bridge that carried them and their fathers over then i want to look at my picture so first i'm going to start over here this looks like i see a rope and a post this must be a boat dock so this guy must be coming off of a ship and he's got all this stuff on his back. So I'm going to guess that he's an immigrant. And then I'm going to look at this other part of the picture where we have these five lovely guys and their five fancy top hats and suits. And they look a little snooty. You got this guy doing the big international symbol for stop, like we don't want you to move any further. And they just look really negative about this guy coming off the boat. But then you look at the pictures of their shadows, and their shadows look a lot like the guy coming off the boat. So my guess is these are guys that really hated or really disliked immigrants. And so uh, let's look at my options, union leaders, philanthropists, political bosses, nativists. Well, I know because I paid attention to my U.S. history class that nativists are anti-immigrant. So I'm going to pick J as my correct answer. <laughs> 